Hi, I'm Heather, and today we have Mello here visiting. I met Mello three years ago, and he, so he's been in and out. He has had a lot of homes and different rescues and shelters, but he is just a great guy and just hasn't found the right match yet. The best home for Mello would be where he's the only pet and because he just doesn't seem to enjoy the company of other pets. He's not aggressive in like a assertive way or he's not going to go after another dog or anything, but he just seems to really like to be the only pet. You could go and sit at Lazy Dog with him. He's not going to bark or try to meet other animals or he would just sit and probably just want your food. <laughs> or your beer. <laughs> Likes a lot of attention, so that is why he would be best too as the only pet. Other things about a home for him would be uh, no small children. Again, he's really um, sensitive and he could be fine with like a teenager. He doesn't need a ton of uh, physical activity. Um, just somebody that will, you know, take him on some short walks, um, spend time with him doing his puzzles and doing his, uh, he likes to do training. So somebody that would be into doing training with him too. He's very smart. Okay, sit. We wait for the puzzle. Okay, yes. He loves to chill on the couch at night, um, hang out while you watch TV. Uh, he loves food. <laughs> He's very food motivated, which is great for training. It's, I think building his confidence so that he doesn't get anxious if he's left alone or left in his crate too much. He can get, I think, anxious and a little separation anxiety. So I think, you know, somebody, again, who would understand that and just work on that with him to help him feel, you know, secure in his home and know that he's not being abandoned again. What do you do when you want something? Yes. Can I get a kiss? Can I get a kiss? <laughs> Is that embarrassing you? Am I embarrassing you? Trying to get a kiss? I love him and often people will ask why I don't adopt him and that is because I have two dogs and you know I don't want him to have to live half his time in the crate separated from my dogs and my dogs separated from him so but I, I do have a connection with him. I care a lot about him. And, you know, I want him to find that person, find his forever home.